It's called mm -hmm. H.P. Lovecraft, a critical study that. by Donald Burleson, who I, who I got to meet when I, when I went out to, um, uh, you know, Providence. And Don is, uh, he was like a professor of mathematics. But there was a whole group of guys. They weren't, you know, we're calling ourselves the lurkers now, but they called themselves the gang. It was, you know, S.T., Mark Michaud, who, you know, published Necronomicon Press, and Don was part of it. But this is a fantastic book. It, 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 don't let it scare you off. It says a critical study, but it's a really neat overview of all of Lovecraft's works. And he talks about, you know, uh, the works themselves and kind of source materials. And um, it's, a, it's a fairly brief book. It was published back in 83 by um, Greenwood Press. But his thing is, and he doesn't call it the hero's journey, he calls it the hero's monomyth. And he says that uh, Dunwich Horror really falls into it, you know, the different phases that the hero takes. So he mentions like, um, you know, miraculous, the first thing is like a miraculous conception or birth, like Quizzy Cottle or Jesus or, you know, Horace. And he mentions the twins are products of a sort of miraculous conception and birth, sired by the god Yogg-Sothoth, right? Mm -hmm. Then the second one is like, uh, that kind of follows is the initiation of the hero. And he talks about how Wilbur is initiated by being allowed to take part in the Sentinel Hill rites that may Eve and all Hollows Eve. So that's part of it. Preparation, meditation, withdrawal, like uh, like Buddha under the Bodhi tree. And he says uh, Wilbur's withdrawal and meditation consists of his studies of ancient books, ancient books with his grandfather through long hushed afternoons. And then the fourth one is a trial and quest. You know, it's like uh, the knight trying to get the Holy Grail. And Wilbur's quest is trying to get the Necronomicon, mm -hmm. you know, out of uh, Arkham. And then, you know, death of the hero becomes, because of his quest, often dismemberment, like in Os Osiris or Orpheus. And, uh, or becoming dog food, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And Wilbur's death comes directly as a consequence of his quest when he is ripped to pieces. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's literally the same thing. Uh, yeah. Then descend into the underworld, as in the case of Jesus, uh, typically one sees here the theme of overcoming the forces of death. And he points out the descent to the underworld is, suggest is suggested symbolically by the descent of Wilbur's twin into Cold Spring Glen, the great sinister ravine described. Now that's a little bit, okay. Yeah. But um, then resurrection and rebirth, as in the case of Dionysus, you know, Osiris, Jesus, the, all these myths follow the same thing. But it, it does have that structure. And again, yeah. uh, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm pounding this, you know, with a hammer, a uh, very large hammer. Uh, well, and one other thing, but and then the, the ascension, you know, into like heaven or whatever. And he says ascension comes when the twin returns to his place of conception, mm -hmm. the great table rock atop Sentinel Hill and his return to the father. So it really does follow. Now, I don't know if Lovecraft even had that in mind or it was like, you know, subconscious. How could he not, or, John? Because it, it, it follows. The, he never mentions that. I know, I don't think he, he ever, this is something that Don came up with. Uh, yeah, but. but, but is it from his letters or anything? Yeah, it's not from it, but but the pattern, the story, and the structure of the story just, you know, and again, this is why I find the story not satisfying. For me, it just, to me, it, it's just, it's a little bit too um, germane and not germane, you know, just more pedestrian for what it's yeah. yeah. Whereas I look at a story like Colorado Space, which is just, uh, I think, amazing you know yeah like, it, that's a real unique story and that's his favorite story by the way lovecraft's yeah. story but um, I, I think you, you look at the two and they're just worlds apart one one is much you know the double chore is much more traditional structured good versus evil hero quest is as as you were saying is, is pointed out and given that yeah, we would we today you, you would call that the hero's journey because it's just you know and every every cliche fucking movie uses it, you know? Uh, oh, so that's why I find it like, eh, so much. It's not, and you know, and the whole thing, if, you know, if you're going talking about Ascension at the end, it's like, why would his father care? He doesn't care. Humans are insignificant. So it's know. Like against all the tenants. This is it why. Is, and, it's, and it's literally on an altar on, yeah, the, hop, just, on the devil's hop, it's called the devil's top yard too. You know? I know. So like, to me, it's like, what the hell is going on? Thank you.